Hi, I'm Madhur. I live in Delhi and I'm a concerned citizen. So what that I am so concerned about? I am extremely concerned about the alarming levels of pollution and the different types of pollutions that we have in the city. For example, air, water, soil and even groundwater. And therefore I, I decided to make a series of short videos in which I interview my father, Mr. Vijay Panjwani, who happens to be a Supreme Court lawyer with an experience of over 30 years in the field of environment law. So um, this video is on plastic bags and uh, the first question that we have for him is um, can you highlight the problems uh, related to plastic bags in Delhi as well as in India? Plastic bags have become a huge problem. Earlier it was not such a big issue. Now plastic bags are used in the market for everything from vegetable vendors to chemists to food staffs. Everything is being packed in plastic bags, small and big, thin and thick. And this has caused problems like death of cows, death of other animals. And even I'm told very small kids are also swallowing plastic things and plastic bags because there is no sufficient caution or care in our country about anything. What is the law on plastic bags in India? See, law is there are two kinds of rules, actually three kinds of rules which govern our conduct in society, govern our conduct in India and in Delhi. One is the Environment Protection Act and the Environment Protection Rules. Under the Act, several other rules have been uh, legislated and one of them is Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016 and also Plastic Waste and Plastic Manufacturing Rules of 2000. Uh, what is the status of plastic bags? Is it banned or is it not banned? See, plastic bags which are below 50 microns in thickness, they are absolutely banned everywhere in India. Plastic sachets for gutka are banned everywhere. Plastic sachets for cigarette packets is banned everywhere. But this ban is not being enforced. And why, why is it not being enforced? If it is a ban legally, then why? See, enforcement in India is extremely weak. The state pollution control boards, which are in charge of getting all the plastic waste collected and disposed of, do not have sufficient staff. The municipal corporations, which are in charge of the plastic waste management, also have the same problem that is problem number one insufficient staff secondly there is no land available for plastic disposal there is no land available for setting up plastic waste uh, processing industries and all this has caused a situation where nobody cares, the, the littering is there, the garbage is plastic bottles, plastic bags, plastic items like, uh, like uh, plates, glasses, cups, everything is you find on the roadside in India. So the bottom line is nobody cares. In spite of a ban, we still have plastic bags being used. So this was the very purpose of the interview. Let's start caring a little bit more and let's stop using plastic bags. Whenever we go to buy vegetables, for example, or anything else, let's carry a cloth bag or a jute bag with us. Let's tuck it in our purses or just make sure it's somewhere in our car or it's just with us so that we can use it. And uh, also let's avoid use of disposable plastic uh, cups and plates, glasses, etc. So we thank Mr. Panjwani for joining us today and if you have any feedback or you want to write about this to us, 
please email us at the at the email id given at the end of the video and if you have enjoyed the video and learned even a little bit from the video then please like and share the video with all your friends and family to spread awareness about the issue thank you for watching